Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Gold Rush autographed jerseys. It's a multi-sport edition and it's a random player break. One spot gets you four, uh, four random players. And we're doing two boxes. Six, there's six jerseys in here and there's another box down here. There's six jerseys down there for a total of 12 autographed jerseys. They're all custom jerseys, so great for framings. It's not it's not hiding any any authentic stuff. So pretty good, pretty excellent stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And they're usually authenticated by, by PSA or Beckett. It's pretty good stuff. Cold Rush does a good job here. All right, so we sold 30 spots. Everyone's going to get randomized four random players. And there's the big list of names right there, which I'm sure everyone saw. So it's baseball, basketball, soccer, so on and so forth. Um, if there's a, uh, we're gonna go by our non-pro uniform rules. So there's no checklist for this. So if this ends up being, no, actually it's a random player break. We don't have to worry about college rules. Never mind. All right, so we got all the names here. I'm about to go through all my college rules spiel, but I don't need to worry about that right now, nor do you. All right, so let's multiply this by four. So there's 30 already. There's two, three, and four. So there should be 120 right here. You can see on that column. So now let's grab everybody's names, put them into a blank list here, and then we'll use that first tab right there to match you up with names and players. After we randomize each list 11 times, six and a five. Good luck. One. Perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. And 11th and final time, we got Josh down to Edwin after 11. All right, six and a five, 11 times for the players. One, two, three, four. and 11th and final time. After 11, we got George McGinnis all the way down to Kyle Tucker. Now, obviously, I'm not going to read off all of these names, but I will show you the, the randomizer just as is. And then I'll alphabetize by your first names so you can see all of your players grouped together. Then we'll pause the video, allow you to kind of figure out what, what you have, maybe even a trade or two. And then we'll go from there. All right, so there's the first block of players right there. This is just so I can get everything on the recording. Just for just for full transparency. All right, there you go. Now, let's sort by first name. So Adam, there's your group of players right there. Adam K. Adam S, Charles, Chris Parent, Drew, Dwayne, Edwin, Frank, Gail, Greg, Pele, nice. Jack, Jarrell, Jesse, last spot mojo players right there. Shaq in the mix, Aaron Judge. Jim, John. Josh, Matthew, Nick, Patrick, Samantha, Stacy, Giannis, nice. Steve Locke, TJ Poyer. There we go. Justin Herbert in the mix right there, too. All right, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, um, and then uh, we'll break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. There were no, there was a lot of trade chatter, more than usual in these kind of breaks, but no deals were worked out. It's all good. Um, let's pop open this case and let's see what we got. So we'll just pop these open one by one. There you 
you go. One autograph jersey per box, 2021 edition by our friends at Gold Rush. Try to angle it away from that top camera so we don't give this away too early. All right. Who am I? Um, I was a rookie running. Just think of rookie running backs. Born in Baltimore, here in my rookie season for this team, 242 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns, two receptions, 21 receiving yards. I think I started showing a little more, a little more action towards the end of the season. Those numbers don't seem too impressive, but I think he's going to be pretty good. Second round pick. 62nd overall out of Boston College. running Rookie running back last year out of Boston College. Second round pick, who am I? That's right, Spiro, you got it. It's A.J. Dillon. So let's flip around here. So I'm gonna, these are custom jerseys. I'm going to leave them in the bag just so they're nicely folded. But you got the nice Packers trim right here. A.J. Dillon, there's his autograph. You got a number inscription, all the Beckett authentication. Good stuff. That will be Matthew Hedges with A.J. Dillon. Thanks, Matthew. All right, next one. I think Jimmy might be lagging behind a little bit. He was guessing Zach Moss. If you're watching live, everybody, hit the live button. Refresh your app. We'll refresh the uh, YouTube page. Right, who do we have here? The letters are upside down. Oh, okay. All right, I am a quarterback. I'm from, I, I didn't realize I'm from, I'm from Dana Point, California. First round pick, played for one team my entire career. 729 passing completions, 8,000 passing yards, 45 TDs, 39 interceptions. Who am I? Chad guessing Goff, not Josh Allen. Martin, how, Martin, how did you get that? Oh, maybe maybe Dana Point gave it away. Sam Darnold is correct. Martin and Spiro. It's a, some clean Jets color. I don't know where he's going to end up. Well, this jersey is going to end up with Stacy. Stacy has the uh, has Sam Darnold. But where where Sam Darnold himself going to end up? Is he going to stay with the Jets? Is he going to end up somewhere else? Next one.
Who are you? Oh, I think that's this person. Yeah. Alright, who am I? I am a retired hockey player from Spruce Grove. Goaltender, righty. Played for one, two, three, four, five, six NHL teams my entire career. Was an eighth overall pick. An eighth overall pick. Who am I? Goaltender. In my uh, goaltender in my Rangers gear. No, check that. Oilers gear. My bad. Oilers gear. Not Patrick Waugh. Eighth overall in 1981. Picked by the Edmonton Oilers. Played from 1981 to 2000. Played for a long time. There you go. Josh has got it. Grant Fuhr. Sorry, this way. There's the Hall of Fame inscription right there. I don't know if his autograph is this way or the other way, but there's the authentication right there. There you go. That goes to goes to Frank. Frank Lupu with the Grant Fuhr player spot. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a good looking jersey. And I think that these are custom jerseys too. So, which I think is better for framing anyway. So it doesn't have the logos on there, but better for framing because you're not, you're not covering up the logos. All right. Next. All right, who am I? I've got a lifetime 250 batting average, 141 home runs, 415 runs batted in. Played for three teams my entire career. I think Ichiro had a better than 250 batting average. Oh, I was also a Pro Bowler, a Heisman Trophy Award winner, had 2,782 rushing yards in my career, 16 rushing touchdowns, College Football Hall of Fame out of Auburn. I also did that too. <laughs> yep, Bo Jackson. Try to try to fool you with the old baseball stats first. Adam Kupperman with Bo Jackson. There you go. Ray and Josh got it pretty quickly. There you go. There's Bo Jackson's autograph. There's all of his Beckett stuff right there. Nice silver and black. <laughs> That's right, Adam. Hold a fast one. You guys, you're probably wondering why was a guy hitting 250 with only 150 home runs, 140 home runs <laughs> in this product at all? Right, Chad, exactly. It's like, why is this guy in, in a Gold Rush product? 
Gotcha. There you go, Adam. Nice. Sunday. All right. Some of the some of the letters were covered up, and I know who this is. All right, who am I? I'm a retired baseball player, lefty, uh, batting average of two fifty nine, three hundred and thirty five home runs, a thousand runs batted in, played for one, two, three, four teams. My entire career, eight-time All-Star, four-time World Series champion, an NL Rookie of the Year, two-time Silver Slugger, one year as the NL home run leader. Who am I? Um, outfielder as well. Oh, nice, Chad. Yeah, Chad got it right away. It's Daryl Strawberry. Mets, Dodgers, Giants, Yankees. Won four World Series. He's pretty good. There's the uh, Daryl Strawberry autograph. There's the PSA. Right there. There's the back of his jersey. All I saw was robber. When I opened up the when I opened up the box, and I was like, Who, "Why do I not know this guy?" Like, I usually know like ninety percent of the players that come out here. Matthew Hedges with the Daryl Strawberry spot. All right, sixth and final box. All right, empty box here. And then we got one more to go. Some more guessing. <laughs> right. Basketball this time. Um, I was a fourth overall pick, an all star, an all rookie first teamer. Played for two teams my entire career. Was a fourth overall pick. Battled some injuries, but I stand at 7'3, 240 pounds. Injuries has been a concern. Um, I mean, he should be playing tonight, but he's he's not. He's seven foot. He I did, didn't realize he was this big. He's seven three, two hundred and forty pounds. He should be playing right now, but he's not. <laughs> Jimmer for dead. Jimmer for dead. Not seven three. Not Yao Ming. He's an active player. Not Solak. Porzingis, there you go. Ray's got it. Porzingis. 7-3. There's the Porzingis. This actually might be an authentic jersey. Yeah. So I guess some of them are. We got the logo man right back here too. That's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, it's got the retail tags attached to it already. Knicks edition. You see the pony autograph right there? 
Looks like it looks like it spells out pony. Nice. And that is Dwayne Sherman with the Porzingis spot. Let's see if I can get this back in here carefully. Nice. There you go, Dwayne. Yeah, injuries has definitely been been what's held Kristaps Porzingis back, but. He's pretty good. To be fair, Walter, I don't I don't think I actually specified current active or retired. I feel like that would have given away a little too quickly. Not too many not too many seven three guys around. All right. Next one. Who do we have here? All right. I'm a quarterback in the National Football League. Picked sixth overall. Played for one team my entire career. I was an NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. As well as a Rose Bowl MVP. Senior Bowl MVP. 31 career touchdowns. 10 interceptions. 4,336 passing yards. With a 98.3 career passer rating. 66.6% completion percentage. 234 rushing touchdowns and five, uh, 234 rushing yards, not 234 rushing touchdowns, 234 rushing yards, five rushing touchdowns. Yep. Ray's got it. Grayson's got it. Chad's got it. Dan, neighborhood. It's Justin Herbert. There's his autograph right there. Kind of a, look, looks like some it italics on this one. There you go, nice. Yeah, so this is just a custom jersey you can see right there. Nice, right, so I'll just leave that in here. It'll just, it'll just have the Chargers trim and everything. That's TJ Poyer with the Justin Herbert spot. Nice, congrats. Very nice. Love the powder blue look. All right. I love these jerseys. These are, these are a lot of fun. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Almost revealed that. Is that who I think it is? Yes, okay. Alright, I am another active NFL quarterback. Played for one team my entire career. Picked uh, 26th overall and I have zero career NFL statistics does Wikipedia not have college stats I guess have college stats I redshirted my uh, first year at this college played in 12 games started the final six finished the season completing 129 of 235 passes for 1631 yards eight Touchdowns and six interceptions. Oh yeah, Josh and Josh and Ray are on, on the same page right there. Jordan Love. There you go. Jordan Love. There he is. Zero stats. Correct. 
Jordan Love was a first round pick, 26th overall. There's the Beckett stickers right there. You can see the green trim for the Packers. Nice. He could could be the future in Green Bay. And that goes to Frank Lupu. I think that's his uh that's his second jersey of the break. Congrats. Yep, Steve like exactly. Jay Hart. I don't know when he's going to have a chance to be um, I don't know when he's going to have a chance to be uh, the future, but he's marinating behind Aaron Rodgers right now. All right, who do we have here? All right, another NFL player active picked with the 35th overall pick, so early second round pick. I was first team all SEC one year, and then my final year, or no, year before my final year, second team all SEC, my final year, first team all SEC, a USA Today high school All-American, 521 rushing yards, eight rushing touchdowns, 46 receptions for 357 yards, and two receiving touchdowns. Played for three seasons at Georgia. I've got a new coach. I've got a new quarterback on my team. Missed, a, missed an easy touchdown in week one. But I think he bounced back okay from that. I think a game-winning touchdown. There you go. Chad's got it. DeAndre Swift in his Georgia gear. Nice. There's his autograph right against the number, the Beckett sticker right there. Remember that remember that game winning touchdown that he dropped? I think he just he's a rookie, first game, turned his head too early. Steve Locke with DeAndre Swift. more to go almost there and we'll go through a bunch more orders and then we'll see we'll see what else we can do tonight We've got about 32 orders I'm going to go through yeah I don't think DeAndre Swift is that bad with, with, with some new blood in that coaching staff Who am I? I am a retired basketball player, currently 70 years old. Went to George Washington High School, went to college at Indiana, was a second round pick, 22nd overall, picked by the Sixers. Power forward for the Sixers. But then played with the Pacers? I'm not sure on. Oh, maybe there was NBA? ABA action right here. It looks like he played with the Pacers from 71 to 75. Then with the Sixers from 75 to 78. A two-time ABA champion. An ABA most valuable player. Three-time NBA All-Star. All-NBA first team. Second team. Three-time ABA. Two-time All-ABA. First team. Rookie first team. So on and so forth. My number 30 retired by the Pacers. Have a, a career 17,009 points, 9, 000, over 9,000 rebounds, over 3,000 assists. Yes, McGinnis is correct. Josh Proust 
with George McGinnis. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Nick is right. What's that? Nick got it. Nick Jasby got it first. Let the record reflect. There it is. I think Josh was trying to trade George McGinnis. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Good luck, everybody. Now we got an old school baseball player here. It's that person, yes. Old school baseball player. Played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams my entire career. Not Ichiro or Babe Ruth. Lifetime 297 batting average, 2,351 hits, 379 home runs. A little over 1,300 runs batted in. A righty, a first baseman, 11-time All-Star, a World Series champion in the late 60s. An NL Rookie of the Year, a one-time NL Home Run Leader, a two-time NL RBI Leader, and uh, voted into the Hall of Fame in the late 90s by the Veterans Committee. He played for, th the first team he played for is what I think I associate him most with. He, that's the team he played for the longest. The second team was with the Cardinals from 66 to 68. Then the Braves for a handful of 69 to 72 with the, oh, got probably got traded to the A's in 72, played half season there, played a season with the Red Sox in 73, played with the Royals in 1974 before he hung them up. And he won a World Series with the Cardinals. All right, so who, let me write down who gets this. Not Brett, not Fisk, not Frank Robinson. Giants is where I most associate him. Orlando Cepeda. Yeah, I, I think I think Birch actually got it. Let's see if I can show you the autograph on the top of the number right there. There it is. Got the JSA right here. JSA card in the back. And that is, I think that's Adam Kupperman's second jersey. All right. And the final one. Yeah, if you want to play more Who Am I, we got full-size helmets on the site. So check that out. That should be fun. Full size NFL helmets by Gold Gold Rush. Try stop. Now we got more Gold Rush autograph full size helmets on the site right now. Uh, Twenty six spots left. One spot gets you two random players. So and it's just football only. All right. And the last one here is is baseball. Oh, there's his name right there. Oh, 
No. Oh. I probably know how to spell his name. All right. 30 year old baseball player, lifetime 267, batting average, 62 home runs, 189 runs batted in. Played for the Diamondbacks for a season, but then I was traded. I was traded along with my teammate Gene Segura and Zach Curtis to the Seattle Mariners for Taiwan Walker and Kettle Marte. What? What? No, I said he was traded with my teammate Gene Segura and Zach Curtis to the Seattle Mariners for Taiwan Marker and Kettle Marte. Marte went from the, Marte went from the Mariners to the Diamondbacks. Not Shelby Miller. Uh, Thomas got it. Mitch Hanniger. Yeah. Going to Drew Fulmer. There it is. Nice clean Mariners jersey here. There's his silver ink autograph on his number. There's the JSA. There's the JSA card in there. Good looking colors on this too. Very sharp looking colors. Trim really makes this pop. There you go. And Drew Fulmer with the Mitch Hanniger. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a lot of fun. Thanks very much, everyone, for getting into the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And we'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.